friends. So remember last night when I told you that I was planning on climbing to Ella Rock with this group of couch surfers that were organizing an event? I noticed actually on the couch surfing app there's a few people planning a hike tomorrow morning. So maybe I'll join them. Well, it turns out that the event was actually <laughs> from a month from now. So I got that wrong. So there was no event happening today, but I actually did meet some guys from my hostel and we're hiking to Ella Rock ourselves. Hello. Can you guys introduce yourselves? What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Zach from Spain. Cool. And I'm Sam from Switzerland. Sweet. Yeah, so even though that event wasn't happening, I met these two guys in the hostel and now we are heading down the train tracks going up to Ella Rock ourselves. So let's go for the adventure. Let's go. And we also made a new friend. Hey, little doggy. Are you coming with us? Come on. <laughs> I love it. everywhere we go, we just make doggy friends. All right, now we are off the train tracks and into the jungle. Let's do it. It just happened. We were walking the wrong way for a couple minutes and we noticed the dog wasn't with us. We turned back to go the right way and the dog was waiting for us on the trail. So <laughs> I think that's a sign that we should just follow the dog because apparently she knows where we're going and we don't. Woo! All right, we're not quite at the top yet, but we just made it to our first viewpoint and this is beautiful. But we got one more climb to the top of the Ella Rock. So we'll see you there. Last bit is a little intense, but it's a good exercise. We're making our way up. I believe we're almost there. I hope. All right, we made it. All right, looks like there's a woman up here selling juice and fruit. But for now, it's time to enjoy this viewpoint. Oh yeah. Ooh, all of that hike is now completely worth it. This view. It is incredible. Check this out. The best part is our doggy friend made it with us. Super tired, huh? Bye. Bye. Want some water? on Ella Rock, I think it's appropriate if we name her Ella. Ella, good job Ella, you made it all the way to the top. Yay. <laughs> She's tired. It's cool, after being at the, uh, at the beach for a while on the South Shore, only uh, a couple hours north, <laughs> it's such a different landscape up here. It's a nice change of scenery. So you know what I'm a little disappointed about is the fact that I didn't bring my drone, but after the incident yesterday, I'm not going to risk it anymore. While it would be very nice to fly here, I'm going to follow the rules and be a good boy and just admire the view with my own two eyes. And if you're wondering what incident I'm referring to with my drone, here is a brief explanation as to what I'm talking about. And a pretty interesting series of events happened to us right after we saw that elephant, which we saw an elephant. Really cool, right? Right on the side of the road. It was, it was a little intimidating because it started walking toward us. But we looped around and I tried to get a little GoPro shot of that. It was, that was really cool. And then immediately after that, we got pulled over. Um, a few army men jumped out of a big truck because I did something that I wasn't supposed to do. I flew my drone. We were on that road, B-35, and there was no one around. It felt like we were in the middle of nowhere. So I haven't flown my drone the entire time I've been in Sri Lanka. I heard you're not supposed to fly drones right now during this high security risk time. So I haven't been flying, but we were just in the middle of nowhere. And I felt like now could be a great opportunity to just get a drone shot of the tuk-tuk. I wasn't even flying high. I was flying maybe 10 feet above the ground. 
and I got a quick little shot of the tuk-tuk. To be honest, it wasn't even that great of a drone shot, so it wasn't even worth it. But apparently, there was an army base really close by, and there was a truck driver that drove by when the drone was in the air, and he was a little tattletale, and he got the army men, and they came over and interrogated us and searched everything and brought us to the police, and we were like trying to communicate with them that we were only flying it because we're tourists and I was making a YouTube video and they were just they were just doing their job that's all they were doing but it was really hard because their English wasn't that great so communicating to them that we are not terrorists was not easy we were just trying to tell them that we're tourists and we're sorry I kept apologizing eventually they let us go but they did hold us at the police station for like 30 minutes and just trying to question us and what are we doing and again they're just doing their jobs so I don't blame them at all but just a tip for you if you plan on traveling to Sri Lanka in the near future I would check the regulations on drone laws because as of right now it is highly prohibited <laughs> so if you don't want to deal with what we just dealt with don't fly your drone that's all I gotta say well I would love to show you an amazing aerial view all you can get is a little panorama but maybe that's nice because you can come here for yourself and really appreciate it because obviously on video it never does a view justice so I recommend to come here and meet this guy he'll sell you some juice and fruit <laughs> what's your name? I'm Gini I'm Gini yes alright I'm Steve uh, nice to meet you nice to meet you too you live over here? yeah you come here every day? oh, oh, oh yes do you, do you live up here? Uh, yes yeah. do you want? Mm -hmm. no I don't need it. So you walk up here every yeah, day? Yeah, yeah, morning. I mean, six o'clock. Six o'clock? Yeah. Until what time you leave? Uh, I go back um, four o'clock. Four o'clock. And you sell fruits? And yeah, juice? yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. It's a nice place to work, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's good exercise coming up here every day, I'll tell you that much. I'm, I'm sweating. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, fresh mango juice. Oh, that's good. That is good. <laughs> Very tasty. That's so good. All right, thank you. Thank you. He was just telling us how there is another viewpoint about 10 minute walk from here, so we're gonna go check that out now and see if it looks any different. Do you wanna come with us, Ella? Ella, do you wanna come with us? Come on, come on. Hey, that's a good girl. She's coming with us to the next viewpoint. <laughs> it's so funny. As soon as we got there, she passed out. When we started leaving, she didn't want her to leave her, leave her mates. You think I can fit her in the tuk-tuk and travel around with her? <laughs> cool, this guy was right. There's another incredible view. Maybe a five-minute walk away. Wow. You can see a whole different angle now. This is nice. So over there somewhere is another very popular viewpoint called Little Adam's Peak. And I haven't been there yet, but I've heard it's a much easier hike. So Sam, you said you've been to Little Adam's Peak, right? Yeah. Which one do you think is better compared to Ella Rock or Little Adam's Peak? If you had to do one. Yeah, you should do Ella Rock. Ella Rock? Yeah, the view is more amazing. Cool. But it's like going to Little Adam's is much easier. Yeah. Like, like you said before, it's quite a steep climb here but yeah. it's much much nicer it's worth it it's harder yeah. to get to El Rock, but much more worth it yeah all right after seeing some amazing views we're gonna begin our hike down I'm gonna put my camera away so we'll see you somewhere else ah <sighs> all right we just made it back and I want to take this time to share some tips and advice for anyone who may be interested in visiting El Rock themselves so starting with the time, we left around 8.15 and it's now 12.15 so it took about four hours round trip and I would highly suggest leaving as early as possible because the later you leave the hotter it's going to get and you do not want to do that hike if it gets too hot and humid so leave early. Uh, another really big tip is the trails system. So there's a few different ways to get up there. We were using an app called Maps Me. I highly suggest downloading this app because it's really cool, aside from looking at trails, because you can download the maps and, and use them offline. So it's an offline map based system, really cool. But another really nice thing is the fact that there's a lot of trails and not just roads. So we were using Maps Me to see what 
was the best way to get up there and people actually left notes saying this is the better route so yeah check that out maps me is def definitely very helpful for travelers and other than that bring some water and just have a good time yeah this is a beautiful hike beautiful viewpoint and now we're gonna go to a place called Nine Arch Bridge a very popular place here where the train travels over a bridge with nine arches very creative name <laughs> so we're gonna head there now let's go check it out so we just made it to the nine arch bridge area as you can see right behind me that's the famous nine arch bridge unfortunately we did just miss the train the train drove by as i was walking down from up there but it's still really cool to be here i know this is a very famous spot so i was trying to look for a cool viewpoint for a photo and i found this random trail over here but now i think i'm going to go down actually onto the bridge and explore over there ah okay i walked down a little bit and this is where you get a view of the entire nine arches really nice one two three four five six seven eight nine yes confirmed there are indeed nine arches here <laughs> pretty cool i love how lush and green the area is very lively environment i like it i like it it's nice so we got the beautiful nine arch bridge over here we have a lovely man farming down there hello is this tea tea yeah very nice <laughs> Yeah, up in the hills of Sri Lanka, there's tea growing everywhere. And even right here, just tea on every mountainside. It's, it's, it's cool, it looks very nice, tea, the way tea grows. I think tea and rice are the two most beautiful plants when they're growing. They're so green, so vibrant, so lively. I like it. I like it. I keep saying that. I like it. <laughs> All right, it's time to uh, head out of here and go get some lunch because I am so hungry. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. <sighs> Let's go get some yum yums. All right guys, just refueled my belly. Got some delicious food. Chicken rotu, which was so delicious. And now it's time to refuel this bad boy over here. I got all my stuff packed in the tuk-tuk. I'm going to be heading to a place called Haputale, which is about one hour away from here. I got in contact with the couch surfing host who's going to host me, who I believe also owns a guest house. So I don't know if I'm staying at a guest house or with his family. So I'll be showing you that very soon. But that's going to be in the next episode. We're going to end this one here. I really hope you've enjoyed traveling around so far here in Sri Lanka. If you're not already, I invite you to subscribe to this channel and leave a like and maybe a comment down below. If you enjoyed so much, let me know what you enjoyed. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. For now, here's a little preview of what's coming up next. Peace. Yeah! Who's your barber? Okay. Okay. Shit. Shit. Oh my god. Oh my god.